Welcome back, everyone. There's been a flurry of activity over at SpaceX recently, but fret not, as I've got the latest updates covered for you. First, let's dive into the timeline for the third Starship flight. Sources indicate that the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, is diligently working to grant SpaceX the necessary license for a launch as early as mid to late February. Regarding vehicle readiness, we've observed some engines swapping on S-28 at the Rocket Garden in the past few days. Whether this relates to engine issues or upgrades remains unclear, but with a few engines replaced, we'll likely see a static fire test prior to the flight. Meanwhile, Booster 10, along with Boosters 11 and 12, remains housed inside Mega Bay 1. SpaceX recently shared an impressive inside view of Mega Bay, flaunting four super heavy boosters, one of which is still in the stacking process. With doors being installed on both Mega Bays, this glimpse inside is a rare treat. SpaceX confirms that boosters 10, 11, and 12 are flight ready for the upcoming Starship flights. Additionally, four Starship Tower segments destined for the second Starship launch tower at Starbase are currently staged at Turning Basin of Kennedy Space Center, awaiting transportation to the port of Brownsville. SpaceX's swift action underscores their commitment to erecting Starship Tower 2 at Starbase, crucial for rapid testing of the Starship. Looking ahead, if SpaceX and NASA were to embark on crew lunar missions, we could anticipate numerous flights leading up to that monumental endeavor. Also check out this incredibly futuristic crew access arm, poised to support crew missions from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral soon. These scenes resemble something straight out of a sci-fi movie. SpaceX has delayed the return journey of the AIX-3 mission from the space station due to unfavorable weather conditions in the recovery area. Teams are now targeting no earlier than Monday to undock Dragon Freedom from the space station. Approximately 12 hours after undocking the Dragon capsule will splash down off the coast of Florida. I will cover the whole event live here on the channel. SpaceX is targeting later today at 6.43 p.m. Pacific Time to launch its 11th mission of the year, the Starlink 713 mission from SLC-4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. You can watch the live broadcast here on the channel. Be sure to check the link at the end of the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.